Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. This video, we are going to look at reading fill in the blanks. I've got a lot of comments from you guys that how do I solve reading blanks? How do I get 90 every time? What are a few of the things we need to keep in mind when we approach any reading fill in the blanks passage? I always say that understanding the context is very important. It's very, very important you understand what the passage is talking about. After that, what you have to focus on, you have to focus on your grammar. And lastly, you have to use the elimination method. What I'll be doing in this video, I'll give you a passage on your screen. Um, you can pause the video, take two to three minutes, solve it, and I'll show you how I will approach that passage, what are the right answers, and how you have to use techniques, methods, and strategies, and how you have to understand the context to solve it. Without further delays, let's get started. You can leave the comments in the box down below whatever answer you're getting for each passage you can comment on the video so that you can check if you're doing it the right way or not all right let's start let me share my screen this is the first passage you can pause the video take two to three minutes solve it and then we'll discuss it right all right so how will I approach this particular passage? As soon as I'll get this passage on my screen, the very first thing which I'll do is I'll read the passage, I'll skim the passage to get an understanding of what the passage is about. It's very, very crucial, very, very important that you know what the passage is talking about. Dash, the global rankings of the largest US retail chains usually remains relatively dash. So normally the ranking of large retail chains in US remain something from year to year. There were some shifts means changes in the rankings of the 2019 world's largest retailers on this year's list. Means they're saying the global rankings or the rankings of the chains or the companies normally remains something, but there were some changes. There's a comma here means they're contradicting. So if there are changes in 2019, normally what the rankings will be will they change or will they stay the same if i say um normally i don't um play cricket but this time i did so first sentence has to be the opposite of second because there are changes in 2019 we'll have the word unchanged over here there will be a word which signifies that there were no changes earlier but there are changes in 2019 Surprising when unchanged relatable reveals why. This will be the right answer for blank number two. Not first. So how I have solved it, I'm explaining again. Dash the global rankings of the largest US retail chains usually remains relatively unchanged. Means usually they do not change. But in 2019, there were some shifts. First. Dash the global rankings. Surprising the global rankings. No. When? When is used for a particular period of time. When will you come back? When will not go? This has already gone. Make sure whenever you, you select an option, you just place it over there so that you don't really read it again and again. Relatable though will not go. Reveals the will not go. We are just left with while. Why while? Why not when? While is used when you compare two things. While I was sleeping, he went to the gym. When I was sleeping, he went to the gym. You can say that. But while is used when two scenarios or two events are going simultaneously or at the same time. And it is also used to contradict. So while means normally the global rankings remain unchanged, but there were some changes in 2019. Now, till here, we have got some information that they are talking about the rankings of um, retail chains in US. None of the most dramatic year-over-year -year change is for U.S. retailers on the 2019 Global Powers list will probably be dash to anyone who closely follows the U.S. retail industry. This sentence is a bit difficult for me to understand. I have only understood 50 to 60 percent. I will come on to this blank afterwards. What I always do, I always solve the blanks I'm sure about first. Let's jump on to the next one. But the value of global powers list each year is in having an easy reference that dash how changes in the US retail. I'll give you one simple tip. After that, you will always have a word ending with most of the time you'll have word ending with S or verb ending with S. For example, you always say that place, that 
reveals. How many words do we have with S? One, two, three, only one. You don't even have to think much. Just place it here. After that, you'll have a word ending with S. So reveals is gone, while is gone, unchanged is gone. We are left with three options and one blank. Still not understanding the context 100%. I'll use grammar over here. Will be. He will be helping me. Most probably we'll have a word ending with ing. How many words do we have with ing? One. That's it. That's all. You don't have to think much. Now, after you have solved it, just read it quickly so that it makes sense. While the global rankings remain unchanged, there were some changes in 2019. Um, the powers list will probably be surprising to anyone who closely follows it. Global powers list each year is in having an easy reference that reveals. That's it. So first is while, second is unchanged, third is surprising, and fourth one is reveals. You don't have to overthink. Don't just read it again and again, but read it to, um, to that extent that you need it to solve your passage. Again, this is used for contradicting. This is from the second sentence. There are some changes, but there were no changes over here. B I N G that S. That's all easy as it is. You don't have to think too much about this. You'll be fine. Let's move on to the next one. I hope you have got four correct. If you do, you are doing fine. Otherwise, you have to work a bit more. All right, let's come on to this one. Huh? You can pause the video, take two to three minutes and solve it. AP and IB dash the most beneficial programs in US education. These two are programs, a study programs you can say in US. One of the dash of their success. Now, as soon as I read any sentence with one of the right, I know this thing in my mind, there will be a word with S over here because you always say one of many. So one of the reasons, you won't really say one of the reason. So you'll have word ending with S. Let's see how many words we have ending with S. One, uh, only one. You don't even have to think twice. This is going to go here. That's it. One of the reasons, one of the factors, one of the means from many, you're selecting one. So this has to be word ending with S, a plural. One of the secrets, why not reason? Because this is singular. One of the reasons will be correct. One of the secrets of the success is the stress generated by three to five hour final exams. Why they're successful? Because of the final exams, full of questions requiring critical thinking. The teachers will come to this afterwards. I'm not really sure about this. The teachers of AP and IB classes have no control over those tests. So let's say if I'm teaching you for these two uh, programs, I don't have any control over the test which will be given three to five hours. So if I don't have control over the test, will it increase my tension or decrease my tension? Let's say if I'm your teacher, I don't know what you're going to get in the test. It will increase the tension. Let's look for a similar word. Had we come to tension, no looming to tension. Looming is um, appearing, you can say, appearing, right? Um, deeply to the tension, adding to the tension can go, but let's consider another option as well. Have become to tension, no, will be grammatically incorrect. Entirely to the tension, no. Nah. So because they don't have any control over the test, it increases the tension. So this will be the third answer. Now we have got a bit more context. That is, they're talking about two courses which are very beneficial. In a final exam, they are three to five hours critical thinking and teachers don't have access to the test. The exams are written and graded by outside experts. Students who don't have one of those tests, see again, one of the tests with S, same rule we applied over here. One of those tests dash apparently don't learn, don't learn as much in the course. I'm not really sure about the context over here. Let's leave it, fill the ones which we are sure. Research shows that students who take AP courses without final exam or students who take the course without the final exam, about 15 to 25% of those do not better in college in that subject than those who skip the 
AP course test. For students who are taking the AP course but not taking the final exam, around 15 to 25 percent of them do not perform better in the college in that subject as compared to students who do not take the course. So who do not take the course deeply or entirely. They're saying, let's say there are 100 students who are taken the test. 20 of them are not taking the, sorry, 100 students who have taken the course, 20 of them, they're not taking the final exam. They're not performing any better than students who have not taken the course at all. So who skip the AP course entirely, not deeply. Deeply means they are still studying. But now we are comparing that if you don't take the final exam, it's as good as not studying it at all. So entirely will go over here. So we have got this one, third one and last one. Let's come on to the first one. AP and IB dash the most beneficial programs either had become or have become. Sorry, had became. What's the difference? Had became is in the past, but are they still beneficial programs? Yes, is means they have they still have that impact. So they have become. They are had is in the past. Had became means if they are talking in the past, but they are still going on. That's why have become will be the right answer for first. Now this is gone. This is gone. This is gone. This is gone. And. Uh, we are left with four options and one blank. Students who don't have one of those tests dash apparently had become apparently don't learn will not be grammatically correct. Looming those tests looming apparently looming means kind of appearing appear apparently don't learn as much in the course can be the right answer but we have to compare the other options. Those tests reason apparently won't make any sense. Deeply apparently won't make any sense. So the best option we are left with, even though we are not really sure, but the best option we are left with is this. Why I'm telling you what we are not even sure because in the exam, you will have scenarios where you will not be 100% sure about the blank. Three options, one, two, and three. You think this can go, but you're not sure. What you have to do is you have to eliminate the other two. Because we have eliminated these two, by default, this is the right answer. This is actually the right answer because they're talking about students who don't have one of the tests. They appear to have not learned as much in the course, right? That is what they are trying to say. So what are the right answers have become one of the secrets adding to tension looming and entirely. If you've got five correct, it's fine. Even if you've got four correct, it's fine. But less than four, you need to work hard. Let's move on to the next passage. You can pause the video, take two to three minutes, solve it and come back. Focus on language education and research is an dash forum for both invited and contributed peer reviewed articles that advance language education at all levels and current issues and dash for research educational practice in the teaching, learning and assessment. Focus on language education and research is and dash forum. With and you will always have words starting with a vowel, vowel sound, a sound, e sound, i sound, o sound or u sound. You will never say an banana, you will say a banana, an apple. How many words do we have with a, e, i, o, u? International aimed what else? Uh, that's it. So either of these two. A forum will be international forum or aimed forum. You always say aimed towards, not aimed for. This is an international forum for both invited and contributed peer reviewed articles. International forum will go over there. You don't even have to think much, just apply the rules. With and you will have A, E, I, O, U sounds. So this is an international forum for both invited and contributed peer reviewed articles that advance language education at all levels and current issues and dash for research educational practice in teaching. And dash for is a forum um, reviewed that advance that 
advance this is it. and dash for will come on to this afterwards i'm not really sure the journal dash a broad range of papers covering best teaching practices the journal is a singular thing so you'll have a verb ending with s over here for example book provides a lot of information you'll never say the book provider with singular you always have verbs ending with s remember this thing how many words do we have ending with s one two three so the journal is giving you a lot of information about best teaching practices results and all so the journal generates it won't generate the journal challenges challenges is a negative word publishes publishes means provides you a lot of information the journal publishes a broad range of papers covering best teaching practices, experimental results, contemporary teaching issues. The journal is dashed to those. The journal is dashed to those concerned with functioning of language education. Means the journal is made for people who are interested in functioning of language education, including universities, graduate and professional schools. Is dashed to, is primary to, you'll say primary for, is aimed to can be the right answer but you always say aimed towards not aimed to that is how you have to solve it generates to won't make sense concerned to is concerned you can say with is again ed the book is provided the book is kept third form we have to use over here right why not ing ing is used in active voice for example uh, he, he is reading the book book is read by him so how many words we have in third form one two that's it is ed is aimed to or directed to aimed towards directed to means is the main audience is directed to will be the right answer over here so fourth answer is directed to the journal is directed to means we are aiming at those people who have um, interest in functioning of language education including universities graduate and professional schools it is of dash interest to institutional researchers and planners faculty college and university administrator so because it is aimed towards universities they will have a very high interest we will have a positive word will not have a negative word because they'll have a lot of interest in this particular journal. It is of primary interest can be the right answer. Aimed interest won't make any sense. Generates concern is a negative word or main. Primary interest or main interest? Being honest, primary and main, they have a similar meaning, but interest goes with primary. You won't say my main interest, my primary interest, my primary motive. You'll, my main motive is informal. My primary motive is more academic and you have to choose academic words. We'll go over here. Now we have got the first one is, first answer is, this provides an international forum. We haven't got the second one. We'll come on to it at the end because I always do this thing. I always fill the ones which I'm sure first and then come back to the other ones. The journal with S, publishes a broad range of this is this the journal is directed to those and is of primary interest now let's see primary is gone international is gone publishes is gone directed is gone we are left with one two three four five and we have one line is an international forum for both invited and contributed peer-reviewed articles that advance language education at all languages at all levels and current issues and dash for research educational practice in teaching aimed for research can be the right answer generates for research will not make any sense concern for okay let's read it again that advance language education at all levels and current issues and dash for research educational practices in teaching. Generates for won't make any sense. Concern for is a negative word. Challenges again for a negative word. This is helping. 
This is to advance the language. So we'll have a positive word here. Grammatically incorrect. Aimed for will be the right answer here. So what do we mean? And what is the meaning of the passage here? Focus on language education and research is an international forum for both invited and contributed peer reviewed articles that advance language education and current issues and aimed for research educational practices. What is the aim? The aim is to provide a platform to research on the educational practices in teaching. The journal um, publishes a broad range of papers. The journal is directed to those concerned with functioning of language education and it is of primary interest. All right, we are left with this one. Focus on language education and research is an international forum for both invited and contributed peer-reviewed articles that advance language education at all levels and current issues and dash for research. Issues and you'll have a, which what word you'll have over here? Current issues and dash for research. A negative word, right? Aimed for research, no. Generates for research, no. And this is ending with S. You always say boys and girls. You'll never say boys and girl. So most probably we'll have a word with S over here. Concern, issues and concern or concerns, concerns. So we are left with this. Now, if you read this properly, see. Focus on language education and research is an international forum for both invited and contributed peer reviewed articles that advance language education at all levels and current issues and challenges for research educational practices in teaching. What is this for? To advance or to help with the current issues and challenges faced in the educational practices. The journal publishes, the journal is um, directed to and it is of primary interest. If you've got five correct, well and good. Four is fine, but anything less than four, you have to make sure you work a bit more and understand what the passage is about. All right, let's move on to the next one now, number four. All right, you can pause, take um, two to three minutes and solve this. How will I solve it? Let's have a look. Understand the passage, very, very important. Lightning strikes were just as dash as meteoroids in creating the perfect conditions for life. So lightning strikes were just as dash as this in creating perfect conditions means we'll have a positive word over here because as helpful were um, lightning strikes were the meteoroids in creating perfect conditions for life to emerge on earth. Geologists say. So let's look for a positive word. Managing through considering important can be the right word. Early performing advocated manual. We only have important as a positive word. Lightning strikes were just were just as important as meteoroids in creating the perfect conditions for life. This is the answer for first. How do I get this though so fast? Because we have got a perfect, we have got perfect conditions for life, which is a positive thing. So this particular thing is as important as this in order to help create conditions for life to emerge on earth. Minerals delivered to earth in meteoroids more than 4 billion years ago have long been dash, have long been. With been, we'll have a word ending with ed, as simple as that. Have long been dash as key ingredients for the development of life on earth. So the minerals delivered by meteoroids more than 4 billion years ago have been dash key ingredients for the development of life. How many words we have ending with ED? Only one. Close your eyes. Put this over here. Scientists believed dash amounts of these minerals. Dash amounts. So we'll have a word which will adjective which will give us more information about amounts. You will say less amount, large amount, small amount, something like this. Scientists believe that dash amounts of these minerals, these minerals here, were also brought to early earth dash billions of lightning strikes. So scientists believe that dash amount of these minerals, managing amount, through amount, considering early performing or minimal, minimal amount, minimal, as simple as that, minimal is giving information about amount. You'll always have an adjective with 
noun something which will give you information about amounts minimal amount of these amounts of these materials were also brought to early earth so they are believing that some amount of these minerals were also brought to early earth dash billions of lightning strikes so managing you will bring something on earth through you can say that but let's consider other options as well considering billions no early and performing this will be the right answer over here so first is important second is advocated third is minimal and fourth is true now read the passage lightning strikes were very helpful or as helpful as meteoroids as they help to create perfect conditions for life minerals delivered to earth in meteoroids more than 4 billion years ago have long been ed advocated as or you can also say before as you always say considered as displayed as played as so ed word right as key ingredient for the development of life on our planet scientists believed dash amounts minimal amount of these materials were also brought to early earth through lightning strikes so the mineral came to earth via lightning strikes but now researchers from the university of leeds have established that lightning strikes were just as significant means as important as meteoroids in dash this essential function and allowing life to manifest in what do you do with function in managing the function in considering the function in early won't go in performing the function managing you manage a task you consider an idea you perform the function in performing this function which is the function the transformation of minerals from other planets to earth performing will be the right answer this passage is again based on context and your grammar. Why important over here? Because we have got something positive over here. So positive word. And same thing as significant as lightning strikes were just as significant means as important. We have got the answer over here as well. Minerals delivered to earth in meteoroids more than 4 billion years ago have long been advocated ED as key ingredients for development of life on a planet scientists believed dash amounts you have to have a word which gives you information about amount minimal amount of these minerals were, were also brought to early earth how they were brought through the lightning strikes but now researchers have established means they have figured out that lightning strikes were important as important as meteoroids in dash this function in performing this function the first answer is important, second advocated, third minimal, fourth through and last one is performing. Was an easy one if you've got five on five well and um, good, four on five is fine. At least you need to have four on five. Less than four on five, you need to be careful. All right, let's solve this one. I want you to at least pause the video, take two minutes, solve, comment your answers in the comment box and then discuss. The Caltech JPL team found that around 4 billion years ago, Mars was home to enough water to have dashed the whole planet in an ocean about 100 to 1500 meters deep. The, the team, the Caltech or JPL team found that around 4 billion years ago, Mars was home to enough water, means there was water on Mars to have dashed the to have dash have dash the whole planet in an ocean probably a word ending with ed over here but let's read it first to have dash the whole planet in an ocean about 100 to 1500 meters deep a volume roughly dash to half of earth's atlantic ocean a volume roughly dash to i'm a bit confused about this i'll come to this later on so they're talking about water on Mars billions of years ago. There was that much volume of water on Earth, which is roughly dashed to half of Atlantic Ocean. Roughly half, roughly dashed to half. Roughly are suggesting, had suggested searching through, seeking, driven, covered. Roughly equivalent. We are considering volume of Mars, water on Mars to volume of Atlantic Ocean. So it is roughly equivalent to or equal to 
half of Earth's Atlantic Ocean. Equivalent will go over here. Now, if you'll ask me for a grammar explanation, being honest, there won't be a grammar explanation. You have to read and understand the passage over here. But by so four four billion years ago, this was the condition. Means there, means there was a lot of water on Mars. But by a billion years later, the planet was dry as it is today. Previously, scientists dash to explain what happened to the flowing water on Mars. Scientists dash previously, back then, scientists dash to explain what happened to the flowing water on Mars, dash that it escaped into space. So they probably thought that water escaped into space. Let's look for the right word over here. Previously, scientists are suggesting won't go right. Had suggested to explain won't make sense because this will be grammatically incorrect. You can simply say scientists had suggested that. You will never say had suggested to explain. Previously, scientists, though searching to explain, can be the right answer, but I'm not too sure. Seeking to explain, can go. Driven to explain now, covered to explain now, additionally to uh, explain now, either seeking or searching. Now, will it be seeking or searching? What is the difference between searching and seeking? Searching is when you are still trying to find an answer, you're not sure. Seeking means when you're willing to um, get the answer. I'm seeking to do this thing, means I'm determined and I want to do it. Means when they wanted to explain in the past. But searching is when they're not ready to explain. They're still searching about it. So if you're searching, you can't really explain. Previously, scientists seeking to explain will be the right answer over here. Seeking to explain what happened to the flowing water on Mars dash that it escaped into space. What will be the answer over here? Previously, scientists seeking to explain what happened to the flowing water on Mars had suggested. Previously, in the past, scientists who were seeking to explain what happened to life or what happened to water on Mars told or had suggested, not are suggesting because we are talking about past. Scientists have suggested that the water escaped into space. Why? Because victim of means due to. Due to Mars' low gravity. Dash, some water did indeed leave Mars this way. Again, contradiction. Some water actually left Mars this way. It now appears that such an escape cannot account for most of the water loss. Now, understand the context as what I always say. Earlier scientists who were trying to explain where the water went, where the water disappeared, they said that it had escaped into the space. But now we have understood that only some water left the planet this way, but most of it cannot escape due to or because of the low gravitational force. So we are contradicting the previous sentence. In the previous sentence, scientists are saying that water went from Mars to space. But now we are saying only some water went, but it cannot be the reason of total disappearance of water. So a contradicting word. Had suggested won't go though. Though is to contradict. This can go over here. But let's look at the other options as well. Additionally, additionally is to add on. But we are just saying earlier scientists were claiming all the water went into space. But now we are saying only some amount of water went into space. So though will be the right answer over here. Now understand the context properly. Understand the context. How many blanks we have? One, two, three, four, five. Let's solve it again. The Caltech team found that around 4 billion years ago, Mars was home to enough water to have ED. With have you are likely to have ING um, or ED form, right? They have completed this. You'll never say they have completed this. How many words we have ending with ED? Covered. Covered will be the right answer over here. You have covered the whole planet in an ocean about 100 to 1500 meters deep. A volume roughly equivalent. Equivalent is the second answer. But by a billion years later, the planet was as dry as it is today. Previously, scientist seeking means trying to explain what happened to the flowing water on Mars 
had suggested had suggested is the answer number four they had suggested that water went into space but now though some water actually left mars this way it cannot be the reason of total disappearance of water if you understand the context 120 percent you'll be able to figure this out first answer is covered second one is equivalent third one is seeking had suggested and though i hope you have got some idea how you have to solve it as i always say it is very very important first of all focus on the context then whenever you're confused use your grammatical rules i always do this thing let's say i'm not really able to understand the context of first sentence i quickly jump on to the second one because let's say out of five blanks you are not able to solve the first one move on to the second one solve that one that will increase your understanding of the passage and you'll be able to solve more blanks another thing if you feel the first one incorrect Obviously, you will feel the second one incorrect, third one incorrect, and everything is going to go into vain. What you need to do is understand the context, use your grammatical knowledge, fill the ones you are sure first, and then move on to the other blanks or other um, leftover blanks you have. This is what you have to do. Um, that's it from this video. I'll try to bring more videos. If the video was helpful, do like, share, and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment section. Plus, if you want more videos, do let me know. If you want to practice, you just go on languagecademy.com.au practice for most of the reading blanks, reading, writing blanks. We have got explanation videos. You practice. If you don't understand, look at the explanation videos, right? That's it. If you need any help, go on languagecademy.com.au. You can contact us. We've got a branches in Australia and India, and you can download LAPT exam practice app as well. Make sure you keep on practicing. I solved five blanks today. I'll try to bring more content. And if you need any help, if you want me to cover any other topic, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to bring a video on that as well. Varun from Language Academy, I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care and stay safe.